Hi, in this video I'll be going over how to use the header slideshow module, which is accessed via the modules tab. So I'll just go in here. Uh, what this module does is it uh, allows you to control the images that are shown across the top of your website, i.e. the header images. Um, you can do a variety of different things. You can have multiple images uh, assigned to certain specific pages um, or change your default group. So I'll just go through and show you how that's done. Um, so here's my first group that I got in. I only have one currently. I can add a new one. I'll get to that in just a moment. So I'm going to edit my existing one. Um, name is it's just for your administrative area, just so you know what the name is. Um, so delay, that's just in seconds. Um, width and height, you probably do want to keep them what they are by default, um, which would be the correct height and width of your website. Now you can change the height fairly easily. The width, you could change it, but it may, you know, if you increase it by, say, you know, another 50 pixels and it's out here, and, you know, maybe it doesn't match your website too much. So you may want to be a little careful with increasing the width or height. Um, if, if you do mess them up a little bit, you can always come back here, though, and change them back to the correct ones. So you feel free to experiment with them and just save and take a look at your website. Uh, so there's the height and width. Um, the, th there's two effects currently, uh, fade and pan and slide. Fade currently is the usually the default one. It just uh, fades in and out of the uh, images. So if you have two of them, it'll you know display this one for five seconds and then fade to the uh, other image that you added. Currently in this group, they'll only have one image, so it, it just it's that same image that stays across the top of my website currently. Um, and pan and slide is um, more used for larger images. It'll start at the top right of the image and start, uh, this is on a larger image that wouldn't be able to fit in your normal parameters, um, and it'll start at the top right corner and then slowly pan down to the bottom left corner. Um, so feel free to, you know, change the effects, save, and just take a look and see if that's what you're looking for. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to add another image here. So I have some header images already created. Um, to create them, you, you'd want to make sure that you use, you know, a photo editing program uh, to, you know, properly get get a picture that's maybe the right dimensions. Now, if it's not, you say it's a square, it can be a square, but uh, the header slideshow module may stretch it, right, because it can't really fit a square in a, uh, you know, rectangular area. So you should usually, if you have those kinds of skills, um, edit a photo or crop it, you know, edit it, change the properties to be, you know, the proper width and height, and then add it to your website's files area. Um, but I'll just open up my files area here, and I'll select the forest header that I have. You see it adds it right down here. I'll click Save, and I'll just show you what that's done. So I'll just refresh my page, and you'll see the forest header image is right there, and then after five seconds, it should switch to the um, other one. There we go, and they have the nice fade effect. So that's the default group. That's essentially, you know, you can add more images or remove current ones. Um, but I'll show you how are all the extra options that you get when you add a new group. So this is the default group. This essentially means, you know, when you add a new uh, page to your website, this is the group it's going to be um, associated with until you tell it otherwise, which I'll show you how to do right here. So I'm going to add a new group. You know, I can call it anything. No one else is going to see it on the public side, just so you know what it's used for. Currently, I have no images added, so I'll add, say, the penguin and also the sunset. We'll tell it to switch every three seconds. I'll keep the correct width and height. Again, if you want, you can experiment and change them. I'll keep that effect. And then here, this is actually different than the default one. Because I'm creating a, another group, I get the uh, opportunity to specify what pages um, this group should be on. So. I'm going to tell it in this case, for example, uh, be on the products page. Oh, and by the way, to select multiple ones, hold down control on your keyboard. So that's why I'm just holding down control. Um, and I'll tell it also on the contact us page. So currently I told it this group with these two pictures show on only the contact us page and our products page. I'll click save. Um, and of course, you can add additional groups for different pages. Um, but I'll just refresh here. Now currently I'm on my home page. I believe we added it to the about us page. Let me just go here. Oh, no, sorry, contact us page. OK, so there we go. So you can see we have penguins, and then after three seconds, it switches to sunset. Um, so that is essentially how the header slideshow module works. All right, thanks for watching.